Hi, I'm Rachel Hackenberg. I'm a pastor, an author, and a mom. In this segment, we're going to learn how prayer helps us communicate with God. Communication is a big word that just means how we talk with each other, how we tell each other what we're thinking and how we're feeling. You've been communicating since you were a baby. Now you're in school and you're learning new ways to communicate and you're learning new words. You're learning to read and to write. You're learning how to spell and to count. Those are all parts of communication. So you use words to communicate with your friend. You use the Hello. telephone or maybe you write a postcard to communicate with your grandma. And people aren't the only ones who communicate. A dog barks to let you know that it wants a treat. The stop sign tells you and reminds you to look both ways before you cross the street. A clock has hands on it to tell you what time it is. There are so many different ways to communicate. There are so many different ways to talk to each other. We can communicate with God too. We can talk with God and we can listen to God and that's called prayer. So let's learn about prayer together. It's like when you pray to God or you're thankful for something. It's one way how you worship God and it, and it tells you how you're thankful for God. Prayer is something you tell to God before you eat your dinner. Prayer is a time when you get to talk to Jesus and maybe you could hear him talking back to you. Prayer to me is giving God happiness. Hi, I'm Don Davis, two-time Super Bowl champ for the New England Patriots, uh, former chaplain, uh, spiritual leader here. You know, some people are fearful of prayer. They think we can only pray in a church, or we only pray over meals, or we only pray at bedtime. But you can pray anywhere, anytime, all day, everywhere, in school, in the car, right? When you're on the playground. Wherever you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you can always call out to God. He's there, He's waiting. He's the Heavenly Father waiting to hear and listen. And so you just call out to Him. That's all you gotta do, just talk to Him. We used to pray on the field. We prayed before the game. We prayed during the game. You make a good tackle, sometimes you say, thank you, Lord, that you allowed me the strength to be able to make that tackle. And then when maybe you, you missed the play, I, you, still, you still thank God. Thank you, God, even though I missed this play, you're still a good God. I'd make a tackle, I'd be like, man, thank you, God, as I'm coming off. I'd be on the sideline and a player would get injured and I'd be pray for him, God, heal him. I pray he's okay. I pray when a bad call happened, God, would you please give that, that referee wisdom? Because that was a bad call, right? I pray when the game is over and we lost. God, man, I thank you that you kept me healthy. I prayed after a game when we won. Thank you for the victory. Prayer is just as simple as just talking. It's a conversation with the God and maker and creator of the heaven and earth. Who made you? He made me. He made us perfect, the Bible tells us. And so he just wants to hear from us. Anytime, anywhere, he's there. You just gotta talk to him. Moses was a man in the Bible who grew up in Egypt a long time ago when the king of Egypt was called Pharaoh. Moses was the son of a Hebrew couple. When Moses was just a baby, Pharaoh's daughter took him into her own home and raised him like a prince. But even though Moses grew up in a big palace as part of Pharaoh's family, he didn't like how Pharaoh treated some people in Egypt better than others. He was really upset that the people Pharaoh didn't treat well were Moses' own people the Hebrews. When he saw how badly Pharaoh treated the Hebrews, Moses ran away from Egypt. Moses went to live in a place called Midian, and he became a shepherd. One day, while Moses was watching his sheep, Moses saw a bush that was on fire. There were flames leaping and sparks flying from the bush. There's no limit to the ways that we can talk with God and there's no limit to the ways that God can talk with us. Prayer is our direct contact with God. It's as simple as saying, hey God, and we've said a prayer. 